Everybody knows that the YouTube comment section is a place of sophisticated and intelligent discussion. Every time I open my inbox, I'm always delighted to see it filled with countless thought-provoking questions and comments. Now, among all the questions that I get on a daily basis, there's one that I get more often than I would expect. Can I go blind from watching laser videos on YouTube? And no, this isn't just something that's happened once or twice. I actually get it all the time. This device right here is called a digital camera. It takes pictures and videos. Now I think some of my viewers are under the impression that when you watch a video on the computer, it actually opens up a portal through space and time to whatever the camera was pointing at when it was recording. This actually isn't the case. Now this is clearly a complicated question. But instead of trying to use confusing physics and math to explain this, I think we should do an experiment. My hypothesis is that no, lasers do not shoot through the computer screen. But if you think I'm going to be wrong, now is your last chance to turn off the video before I shine the laser through the screen. Yeah, I'm definitely going to switch out cameras for this one. I don't think cameras really like 6 watts of laser light directly to the sensor. Alright viewers, this is where I need your help. I need you to let me know if these laser beams shoot through the screen. Alright, here we go. Did you see that? How about that? Or this? Man, I feel like the Star Wars kid here. Ooh, that left some nice permanent burn marks in the center there. Now, I wish I knew what my viewers saw, but too bad that's in the future, so I don't know yet. But let's try this again with the laser closer. Alright, let's try that again. Man, I wish the guys at the NIF could beam me their giant petawatt laser through the computer screen. That would be pretty awesome. Think that was bright? Well, it certainly wasn't brighter than this. This is just a white screen. This is the brightest possible thing you can get on your computer for a given brightness setting. Another question we could test is whether cameras can transmit electromagnetic fields at main frequency. Alright viewers, it's time to break out those magnetometers and field detectors. Cause here we go. Now if you didn't detect any fields on your end, maybe it's just because this power supply is so puny. I guess it can't hurt to try it with microwaves either. Alright, here goes nothing. Unfortunately, this camera did not survive the microwave. In fact, all the data on the card went corrupt. So this means that whatever portal could have been made probably also got destroyed in the process. Now I have yet to hear from my viewers, but I'm going to say that you probably don't need to wear laser goggles when you're watching laser videos on YouTube. But in case I'm wrong, I better stop doing this video so I don't burn out all your eyeballs or break your computers. So until the next time, stay safe and happy lazing.